let's look at x raised to the negative 5 power. To change this so that we have a variable raised to a positive power, we could multiply by 1, which wouldn't change anything, and then we can replace this 1 with another form of 1, let's say x to the 5th over x to the 5th, and then when we multiply x to the negative 5 by x to the 5th over x to the 5th, we get x to the negative 5 times x to the 5th over x to the 5th. Well, if we look at our numerator, x to the negative 5 times x to the positive 5, remember we have that property that if we have x raised to a power times x raised to another power, that's going to be equal to x raised to the sum of their power. And so if we use that, we can replace x to the negative 5 times x to the positive 5 by x to the negative 5 plus positive 5, which is x to the 0. And then we'll bring x to the 5 in the denominator over as it is. Now, x to the 0 power is just 1 because anything raised to the 0 power is equal to 1, and so we can replace that with 1. And now you see we have x to the negative 5 equal to 1 over x to the 5. And instead of doing this process over and over again, we can simply just use these rules in the future. Where if I have x to the negative n, I can replace that with 1 over x to the n. Or if I have 1 over x to the negative n, I can replace that with x to the n power.